Cause I be in the hood like an engine block Dude, that rhetoric you spit, I ain't hearing it What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult Alright, man, look Have you guys seen the interview with Errol Spence on Fox and Sean Porter was there asking him the questions. There was a little panel and you had Errol Spence and Sean Porter right there. I do want to highlight a few things in that interview. The biggest thing I want to highlight is when Errol Spence brought up ducking. And you could just see Sean Porter going to this place. You see it come over his face. You see him going to this place of just half irritation as soon as Errol Spence said people ducking him Sean Porter he just went into that space of zen you've heard me come out publicly and say on my videos that Sean Porter has done more for the welterweight division than any other welterweight and he's far from a ducker but that does not mean that you guys need to stop criticizing him because it was your criticism which made him go into that place and bring out that animal spirit for him to say you know what nobody is ever going to question if I'm a ducker ever so at the end he asked Errol Spence hey look man not just when but who because Sean Porter knows that he wants to be that next opponent for Errol Spence. And what did Errol Spence say? Errol Spence said, look, number one is Manny Pacquiao. Why? Because of legacy. The first thing he said was legacy. The first thing he didn't say was money. The first thing he said was legacy. Then he said, Manny Pacquiao, he already sold out Dallas Stadium, right? And he brought up how big of a fight it would be on pay-per-view. But he said, if that fight cannot happen, and I must have a fight in July or August, if that fight can't happen, then Sean Porter, you make sense. That is how great fighters talk. He also said, if I want to be the face of boxing, then I have to carry myself differently. Okay, and that is what I was saying when I brought up that video, who's the face of boxing? If Canelo Alvarez is still going to stay that number one spot, because not only is Errol Spence perceived as a guy that can take that number one spot, but he wants that number one spot. I love the interview. I think the interview was just an example many times over of what I've been saying in my videos time and time again and why I challenge certain boxers. So I do want my boxing community to continue challenging, to continue pushing these fighters and let these fighters know what we want as fans what we want, what we appreciate. And those fighters, they want the same thing, I promise you. When you start tapping on their primal instincts and what makes them a fighter, and you challenge those things, they will respond. And Deontay Wilder, he will respond too. So all these guys, they're not fighters just because. They're fighters because they were born to be, made to be, bred to be. If you haven't seen the interview, go check it out. Comment below, let me know what you think. And Showbiz the dope. Listen to Showbiz. Unboxing. What's better?